You are what I'm looking for. Okay, last week on my channel, I had sorted through all of my paper scraps. And today I decided to make a project with those scraps. I'm going to dig through my white cardstock here and find a couple of pieces that are of similar size. So I've selected four pieces here, and then I have my basket of small scraps. So I plan to use up as much of these little scraps as I can. I also have an old book here and a glue stick. I also have some larger scraps if I find I need them. So what I'm going to do is first take my four pieces of white cardstock and I'm just going to lay them out on my table as best as I can, as straight as possible, and just sort of line them up. And I'm going to connect all of these pieces with scraps to create a collage. So I've got a Lawn Fawn ink pad, and this is the Doe ink, and it reminds me a little bit of vintage photo, and I like the light, soft, distress edging that it provides on the cardstock. So I'm going to ink up all of those edges with that ink, and then I'm going to apply glue stick to the entire piece. And now I'm going to start connecting these pieces of cardstock. So I'm going to line up these strips as best as I can, just kind of making sure they're as straight as possible and dig through and find some scraps that match and do the same thing. So first ink up a few pieces and glue them and then attach the four pieces together to create one large piece. I'm working on the middle two pieces now, attaching those two pieces together. And then again, just lining this up as straight as I can possibly get it. So I've got one more piece here that I'm going to ink up and apply my glue stick to and then attach the last piece. And I'm not thinking too much about the scraps that I'm using. I'm really just digging through and trying to coordinate. If I find that I'm spending too much time digging through the scraps, then I have to make a commitment. Otherwise, I could just sit here all day, you know, playing with pieces and not moving forward. So I feel like if I'm taken too long, then I toss that piece aside and find another piece and keep going. I'm going to find some more pieces and I'm just going to go to town and I'm just getting different sizes. I'm twisting and turning and trying to lay things out the way I think that they'll look nice. And what's great about this technique is that we're not going to know what we get until we're done. So it's just going to be a fun collage. I'm just distressing the pieces, inking up the edges, gluing them down and kind of trying to find balance and mixing the patterns up, getting a little bit of a variety of things and colors. And when I find that a piece doesn't fit the way I want it to, I grab my ruler and I just tear it. And then I ink up those edges and then we have a really nice torn edge. And I like the way that looks. So I'm going to run through here and ink up all of these edges and glue them down and just fill up all of this paper until we get one large collaged sheet. So I'll turn on a little bit of music and then I'll catch you back on the other side when the collaging is all done.
All right, so our collage is all done. Now I've got this large sheet of this gorgeous mixed up bunch of goodness. And I'm just gonna tidy up here and move along to the next step. Now we're gonna do the fun part. I'm gonna flip this piece over and I'm gonna start cutting down to split those cards back up. And then I'm gonna flip them over and show you what we've got. We've got four completely different patterns. No two are alike. And I'm gonna take these to my trimmer and I'm gonna trim them up. I'm going to clean up the edges. Some of the patterns didn't reach all the way to the edge and whatnot. So I just wanna clean up those edges before I can decide how to start cutting these up to put them on my cards. So at first, I wasn't quite exactly sure what I wanted to do. Uh, and then I decided I don't wanna to take too much time and waste my day away looking at all these and I decided to just start cutting up. I just cut random sizes. I, I cut them so that they would all fit nicely and layer on a two size card bases. So I do have sort of a base point and that is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I cut all my pieces to sort of fit within that. So I would get either a full card front or a card front with a one inch border or a quarter inch border and so on. So here are all of the pieces that we ended up getting. I'm gonna get eight cards out of all of these scraps with only a couple of little pieces of garbage left over and I can live with that. So the next thing for me to do is start adhering these pieces down to my card bases. So I have eight four and a quarter by five and a half inch top folding card bases. This is standard US A2 size and I'm gonna layer all of these patterns onto the front of my cards. Now that that's all complete, let's take a look at all of the cards that we have so far. These are very unique and different. They can't be replicated. They're very simple to make and we get to use up those scraps. So it's a super duper bonus. For a sentiment for these cards, I'm gonna go back to my little bin of scraps and I'm gonna find some white and some black cardstock. I ran this through my die cut machine a bunch of times and cut out a sentiment that says hello with the shadow layer as well. This is a Gina K Designs die set. And I thought by having just a simple hello on this card, it would really allow those pattern papers and that fun patchwork look to shine. So I've just adhered my hello down to my shadow layer and then used an acrylic block set on top to let everything adhere together. And then just pop these all over the cards. I didn't do anything specific. I didn't do any of them the same. I did them all different. So let's take a look at the final result of these cards. I really love this distressed look and sort of like the patchy feel to them. And I also like how they're so different and no two are alike, with the exception of the word hello and the white card base. But otherwise, a super fun project to use up some of those scraps in your crafty stash. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it here with me. I appreciate the support as always. Coming up on screen will be a playlist for other scrappy ideas. I hope that you'll check those out. Have yourself a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.